Welcome to the Intrepid Podcast. My name is Ian Rinyon, an independent alternative media practitioner among other things, and I would be presenting this program. Now, before we start, I would like to introduce myself. Currently, I run a YouTube channel called IJR Productions. It has gone through a number of names and currently, it is the home of my flagship program, The Intrepid Show, which is also the name of my Facebook page if ever you care. I could not say I am good at this podcast and in fact, I am a bit terrified with the prospect of doing this as of this recording. But let me give this a shot because I am not really someone who wants to face the camera all the time whenever I write a script or I record a something for my videos and besides i deviate from my written script all the time and you might notice it more uh, later but of course i need to work for a living since at the point of this recording i do not profit from anything so oddly enough i do odd jobs that do not align with each other including teaching college students during the school season and have to fend off for myself outside of it so You might ask me, why am I even here? Why am I even here? And that's a very good question. And to answer that, I would like to give you a little bit of my background. Now, I have studied communication arts from one of the most known universities here in the Philippines and in fact has been around since the 17th century. If you're a Filipino, you know what school it is. And currently, on last check, our program was renamed AB Communication. I'm not sure if it's if it is already uh, renamed as such, but anyway, uh, that's that. Now, I started to actually be part of this media broadcasting organization that runs the school's closed circuit television station, and the station still exists, but has been transformed significantly over the years, and. This was way back in 2009, so that's more than 10 years ago, when everyone was just starting to transition from analog transmission and technologies to digital ones. Unfortunately, I was on the laggard side of the technological divide, having no access to the technologies of the day, such as the initial models of smartphones and top-of-the-line laptops. But what I lacked in tools, opportunities, and experiences, I gained in wisdom, though I admit I still know nothing. And until now, almost 10 years later, after I graduated from uni, I am still trying to catch up, and damn it, I'm just too bad at it. But that's a topic for another day. Now, compared to my peers and contemporaries, I have not experienced what it is to live a uni uni life. Maybe because I was more on the safer side of study and finish than use the time to explore side of it. And until now, I still regret not going on that pilgrimage to Manawag with my classmates. Though I went there after graduation, it was with family, so it kind of sucks and I have to survive that awkwardness, but I digress. Moreover, I am also a loner and had to go home every single time I went to class, all 30 kilometers of it to be exact. So that's... uh. That's a total of um, around 60 kilometers, uh, if not every day, every other day, especially uh, during uh, during my later years in uni. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how college life is. So with whatever youth I had left, I made damn sure I experienced the most of it because I might not have the chance to do it again. And uh, in short... I feared missing out too much. Then, recently, I suspected I might be neurodivergent, probably autistic. Yes, you heard me right. Autistic, not person with autism. That's what most folks diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder preferred to call themselves. And even those who suspect themselves with such, like yours truly. Now, I have already made at least three YouTube videos regarding that. But I would want to also dedicate a future episode about autism and neurodiversity in the Philippines in general. So in short, it's a topic for another day. But I can definitely tell you that catching up as a suspected autistic Filipino adult will never be easy. At least, it isn't in my case. Nevertheless, 
I am still struggling to make myself better. Now, if you watch my videos, you may notice that I am a short, obese, late 20s man turning 30 before 2022 ends, looking to trim down while not losing my strength. In fact, we are all works in progress, and the only day we stop improving is the day we die. And that does not necessarily in involve physically dying, but you get the point. That's why I have decided to be intrepid, to be courageous in the midst of uncertainty. To start with, I borrow my brother's very tall mountain bike whose fork is in dire need of an upgrade and cycle it across places roughly within a 20-kilometer radius, radius from where I am currently residing, which I would refer to from this point forward as Intrepid HQ. My current dream ride for is for me to go to Tagaytay, which I, I already did, but I want to go back there again, then to my partner's place in Marikina, and, a, and ride along with her to Antipolo. Then, a one-shot Manawag ride, a one-shot Taal ride, inclusive of a stay in my mother's hometown in nearby San Nicolas, Patangas, a, a two-shot minimum Baguio climb, climb, and a three-shot minimum Bicol ride. Ultimately, I would love to cycle the Camino de Santiago in Spain as a pilgrim. Now, if you would like to follow along my cycling journey, you can follow me or you can find me on Strava and my name there is Intrepid Ian Reñon with Philippine flag emojis on both sides of the name. Now, fun fact, the first time I made use of the word Intrepid in my online persona was when I actually tried to play War Thunder when I initially thought of this podcast in around 2021. But my damn internet connection prevented me from doing so. And uh, maybe the, the, inspiration, the inspiration that I had was uh, because of Fly Daily and his buddies. And that's why I got interested in the whole thing. And thus, while I haven't, full, I haven't, ha I haven't had my full flying potential in War Thunder, the branding stuck. And I call myself or I brand myself as Intrepid Ian Riñon. But eventually, this show is not about me or my cycling adventures. I'll leave it to my videos. So it's about whatever's happening out there while we are all trying to stay alive. So for future reference, this podcast episode or the this very first podcast podcast episode was recorded while the world is experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic where the uh, where virtually the whole world stood still and is just starting to recover thanks to the vaccines that developed and probably uh probably the people who are just uh starting to get back on their feet from every everything that uh just went through such as Anus Horribilis 2020 anyway before we continue i am intending to have this podcast initially published on youtube and expand it from there probably on soundcloud podbean and spotify now if you're listening listening to this in youtube i invite you to like this recording and to share this with those who are interested in this kind of content from a Filipino creator. I would also appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking or tapping the red subscribe button below and ringing the notification bell by selecting all. You could also follow me on my other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, if you would like to do more and have some spare red Osmenias or Washingtons there, you could support me on either Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, Ko-Fi, or PayPal. For at least just $1 a month, or which is more or less 50 Philippine pesos, you can support what I do here as I aim to dish out comment, uh, content or commentary not being covered by most Filipino content creators. Any amount you give to this channel would go towards further developing my content as well as funding upgrades to all of my equipment. And right off the bat, I would like to tell you that the Intrepid Podcast does not currently have any sponsors, but it would be very much appreciated if there would be businesses that would like to advertise through this podcast. So basically, this is episode zero. And this is where the part, this is the part where I deviate from the script. So I have four uh, four things or four topics or four uh, points to uh, deal 
with this uh with this podcast uh off script although i do have some bullet points here but i might go into full taglish mode uh taglish is basically a uh, code switch between tagalog and english and i am intending to do just that for this uh for this podcast so first off why did i create this podcast in the very first bloody place so as i said earlier i am very much camera shy even though you might not notice it uh but honestly i would love to be just behind the camera and i have been trained to be behind the camera and i'm not really that photogenic for goodness uh, for goodness sakes i mean the only person the only persons that would appreciate this uh not so handsome face of mine uh is my family and my partner and that's it i don't really care if uh people call me ugly or uh fat bastard screw them yun lang anyway so i started off uh when i was a kid i started off with uh singing competitions i do sing that's for sure but I suddenly uh, had stage fright, and even now I am a bit, uh, I'm a bit scared when I'm, uh, it, when I go front and center, uh, but, uh, most of the time. But the only exception is when it's about, um, it's a, it, it's a church. That's for sure because you can be uh, anything inside church, and uh, you hope to God that you you won't be judged. Uh, you you won't be prejudiced that much that's for sure but anyway that's uh that's uh, besides the point now you see there are very low opportunities for non-talent folks in student media production back in my day and uh i'm resigned to that uh to that prospect uh early on because i'm i'm really that camera shy and back then i was at a loss of words i mean i stutter a lot i am very much uh having a hard time even right now as i record this podcast but somewhere along the way when i had that job in the bpo industry it just uh it just naturally uh just naturally blurted out because uh the situation uh uh not really forces you but or coerces coerces you but it just you just have to do it because it uh, talking is going to be your job that's it so i have no choice but to have but to be uh but to be very talkative and uh and the rest is history that's for sure but i did have some personal insecurities i am still having personal insecurities because i screwed my life up and because of all that i am just catching up and experiencing what it's like to really produce media content at least online by doing everything all by myself now it's really very hard to start a uh, content creation anywhere whether it's on youtube on tiktok uh instagram even bloody facebook or uh having a podcast like this it's hard it really is hard and uh i how i wish that i have a team but you know i got to start somewhere and uh this is that somewhere so yeah that's my life so that's uh how i see myself at this point but i do hope that uh i would i would be able to uh divide the load to uh to people who are willing to work with me and of course i have to compensate them that's for sure and uh i would also have to diversify uh, my video content so that i can include skits cycling vlogs with history involved in it and uh, so much more I actually lost my train of thought at this point because I really want to talk about uh 
how I try to get back up and uh, uh, basically uh, fulfill or at least experience everything that I have been uh, I have uh, I have learned back in uh, back in college. So I really wanted to uh, apply all of that, even though it's not for some uh, media company, but it's for personal satisfaction. I just hope that uh, people would notice this and maybe, just maybe, uh, they would hit me up and uh, say, Ian, I find your content very, very, very useful for, uh, for all this stuff. Can you, uh, uh, can you uh, be able to review this uh, product or whatever? That, my friends, is a little bit uh, a bit of a stretch, but if that happens, that happens. I would very much, I would very much be uh, on board because you know, I just wanted to get this off my chest, you know. <laughs> so now, you might be uh, asking. So yeah, sure, you can create your podcast, but. Uh, I think you need to uh, set some expectations, not only for us, but also for yourself. And I get you. I really do. Because uh, the Intrepid Podcast is actually um, a podcast for IJR Productions, which is basically just me. Uh, basically, just a one-man production house uh with me doing all the stuff and we would tackle uh, tackle on the commentaries and lo- on local and international news regarding public affairs, social and moral issues, the Catholic Church because I am a Catholic, mental health, music, social media trends, survivalism, cycling, and specific a- uh, advancements and updates on geography, geology, astronomy, and space exploration. So in short, anything and everything that comes to mind as interesting. So it's going to be a mixed bag from the get-go. It's basically a mixed bag when I started back in 2019. So uh, I actually started IJR Productions as uh, an outlet to uh, very much kill off my time while I uh, while I recover from something, um, fr- from something, uh, that damaged my mental health, uh, but I hope that, uh, in the hopes that, that would uh, make me confident with myself, and it did help. But of course, it's a little bit, um, it, it's a, it didn't make uh some progress at uh, at first, but. Now, I find it uh, I find it helpful, uh, especially in conversing with other people. Uh, I am not that kind of uh, talkative person, but if I engage in uh, in a specific topic that I really like to uh, talk on hours and hours and hours on hours on end, I would just blurt out until I get exhausted. So that's how I see myself. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. So, this is produced and presented by yours truly in cor- uh, code switch between English and Tagalog. Depende na lang yun. Uh, it's, it always depends uh, on the topic. But I, I'll try to anglicize everything. I'm, I'll try to uh, speak in English for at least this episode full. Okay? And the program aims aims to remain true to the production house's objective to inform Filipinos, both both archipelagic and diasporical, on what they need to consider in a more digitized and connected world without losing touch with their souls. So the format here would would mean that it is a complementary and longer form of a longer form companion of uh, some of my YouTube videos. So I actually am trying to uh, recover the scripts of all of my previous videos and transform them into uh, 
into written content article uh in article form and uh basically use that as a as a script for the podcast so i might as well uh do just that and uh i can say that it can also be rema- it, it can also be known as remasters of all of my previous uh youtube videos so uh i'm hitting two birds with one stone here so uh, the duration of uh of these episodes would vary from episode to episode but the average length of length of each is projected to be at least 30 minutes long so uh i might talk for an hour for two hours or three hours but i'll try to uh cap it between um 45 to uh 45 to 90 minutes uh two hours stops but it would always be at least 30 minutes long because i'm trying to i'm trying to be of uh of essence here and i would love to i would love to be on the background while uh you do a lot of things that is for sure so that's the format or the treatment of the intrepid podcast and again it would be uh 20 to 30 minutes at least it can run again uh for 45 to 9 45 to 90 minutes two hour stops so that's the cap and uh the format would be a hybrid of scripted and unscripted with uh and basically this is what i'm doing right now it's uh part scripted and part unscripted this is the unscripted part if you can uh even notice and we also i would also have a uh i also prospect prospect uh having guests in future episodes and i really hope that uh i can be uh, i can invite some of the common or er, some of the contacts that i have who can um very much record an episode of the intrepid podcast and uh just in case that they are also podcasters i would also uh accept their invites uh whenever whenever it is necessary or whenever i am available so that's that now as for how frequent would i be recording or how how i would be releasing podcast episodes for now i would start off with at least one episode a month okay so uh this is gonna i am recording this at the 20 from on the 24th of july 2022 so the next time that i'm going to uh, record would be august so at, i'll try to have at least one episode a month and maybe a maximum of three because it really takes time to to record or process uh these kind of podcasts even though it does not have uh, the video option or the video uh, the video additionals or the additional video uh, content that you, need, that you need to edit so uh, even though this is all full audio I would uh, it would take me some time to edit it again as I said this is not my uh, this is not my real job or this is not really something that I am paid to do but if i can uh if i can churn out at least 3 uh 3 episodes a month why not maybe if maybe if it uh the situation calls for a fourth or a fifth or more than that why not i'm open to that and one more reason i actually started or uh, actually I also want this to be as free flowing as I intended for my YouTube channel. So anything goes as well for the podcast episodes. So that's that's that. But again, I would be uh I would also try to uh insert some of my uh some of the topics that I have uh done in my previous YouTube videos. So that's that. Now, one more reason I started this podcast is because Maybe I was influenced by uh, TV and radio presenters and narrators and the work that they do in their respective programs, specifically on radio. And I'm not going to name names, but uh, there are 
some of them have been legends some of them have some of them have uh, passed on and some of them are basically just holding on to uh, their uh, to their time slots and just waiting uh, waiting for the Reaper to uh, take them take them to the other side if you know what I mean now what I wanted for this show is not to imitate them but to express and uh, the influence they they gave to me in my own terms after all, I am, an indif- I am an independent alternative media practitioner. I might as well do just that. And I also have contacts, personal contacts, who are also podcasters, such as JP, JP Santiago, a.k.a. J. Aruga, and uh, Burns Kaasi of, uh, uh, of Unboxing Catholicism. So, uh, so basically, I am in contacts with... Uh, with uh, the presenters of both the the J Aruga show and Unboxing Catholicism, and also uh, Rodney De, Rodney De Leon of uh, Heart Speaks to Heart podcast. I am not sure uh, if that's the <laughs> that's the thing, but you know they are on the safe side of things. I'm more on the uh, rowdy side. I might cuss. I might uh, I might have bleep words, and I might uh, basically just uh, <laughs> use the Duterte brut brut as a as a bleep. That's just uh, my artistic uh, mind right now. But yeah, I really know those guys and I hope I can uh, talk with them in the future. So let's see. Okay, now you may be wondering. So Ian... Why do you call yourself intrepid? Are you really that intrepid? Are you living up to that name? I hope to God I am. I really do. I hope that I hope to everything that is holy that I would be intrepid, that I would be someone who is uh displaying courage even though deep inside he's he's scared, he's afraid. And honestly, I really am scared. I really am a scaredy cat. I do uh I do frighten. I I do am frightened by uh, a lot of things. But if it's something that would not kill me, oh well, hell yeah, I'm going to I'm in. Sure, it's uncertain. There may be risks, but if there's something that life has very much taught me at this point there are some things that are worth the risk and there are some things that are not it just uh boils down to how you discern on which is uh which is worth the risk and which are the ones that aren't so that's that and i would really love to live up to this name live up to this adjective adjective for the rest of my life and i hope that this uh podcast would do just that so that's how i would love to take this podcast or this branding of mine i would i would love to love it to uh take that direction take my branding to that direction so that's what i wanted to do so mga kababayan, this project is around 18 to 24 months already in the making. Uh, I have been starting to think about this uh, as early as 2020. And I might only do this whenever I am free to do, do so. Because remember, work comes first. And if ever I get a job, at this point, I'm still looking for something that would very much be stable. I would have to attend to that first. I would have to attend to work first before this. But if I can, I would produce at least weekly episodes in season and longer monthly ep- episodes off season. But then again, the compromise might be uh one at least one episode a month and a maximum of, maximum of 3. If there's anything bonus, it it's because uh it's very much uh it's very much important, it's very uh, it's so important that I wanted to dish it out. 
So, that's that. Now, uh, I am also planning to provide a podcast version of all my previous YouTube content, uh, as I said earlier, as a remastered update of such videos. And so either way, please pray for me and wish me luck. And I've been recording this on a Sunday because the 24th of July 2022 is a Sunday. And as and being someone who adheres to the belief of the divine in collaboration with human endeavors, I invite you to pray for this nation we call home, or at least think deeply about her benefit. Almighty God, who has given us these good islands, the pearl of the Orient Seas, for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our islands with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. And do with the spirit of wisdom those who, in, to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that, through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. On that note, I end today's podcast. I would like to thank you all for listening to this very hands-on primer for the Intrepid Podcast. And I would like to thank you for uh, going this far and uh, for bearing with me in this very much impromptu primer of this, uh, of this podcast. So recording of this episode would be available on YouTube with further plans to expand to other platforms. So make sure to check out for that. All of the materials I have referenced for this episode uh, would be listed in the recording's description and uh, if it's appropriate, of course. And if you think there are things I might not have included in this recording or in future recordings, or if you want to have your say about the matter, please feel free to leave them in the comments below if applicable. And uh, again... I would like you to I would like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel IJR Productions then ring the notification bell by selecting all and also support me on Patreon buy me a coffee Ko-fi or PayPal the links to them are also in the description below and you might also uh, you might also answer my question what does intrepid mean to you so with all that said this is intrepid Ian Rinyon reminding you to, at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other, and thank you for tuning in. See you next time for another talk here on the Intrepid Podcast. From Intrepid HQ, see you now.